Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see what do you mean by feedback and what are the different types of feedback along with its advantage and disadvantage. So let's begin with the topic. Feedback is basically considered as a process of applying output or part of output again back to the input. In, with the help of feedback, we can have many applications in electronic circuit. Basically, there are two types of feedback, positive feedback and negative feedback. Positive feedback is a feedback in which the output signal or a part of output signal is feedback to the input signal which is in phase with respect to input signal and therefore increasing it. Positive feedback is also called as direct feedback or regenerative feedback. The output can be voltage or current and it can be taken either serially or parallelly. Similarly, it can be applied to the input either serially or parallelly. The second type of feedback is called as negative feedback. The feedback in which the feedback signal which may be a current or voltage is applied back to the input in such a way that it is out of phase with respect to input signal and such type of feedbacks are called as negative feedback. The negative feedback is also called as inverse feedback or degenerative feedback. Positive feedback increases gain of the amplifier whereas negative feedback reduces gain of the amplifier but still it find applications in many electronic circuit. The most common application of negative feedback is the amplifier whereas the most common application of positive feedback is oscillator. Even though negative feedback reduces gain of the circuit, the negative feedback having many advantages like it provides stabilization that means it improves stability of the circuit, it reduces frequency distortion, it reduces phase distortion, it reduces noise in the circuit, then the input and output resistance values can be modified with the help of negative feedback. So because of these advantages, the reduction of gain disadvantage of negative feedback is overcome because of the number of advantages provided by negative feedback. Now let's see the difference between positive and negative feedback. We are going to compare positive and negative feedback based on the various parameter. So the first parameter is input signal. As, as in case of positive feedback, the feedback signal is in phase with respect to input signal whereas in case of negative feedback, the feedback signal is out of phase with respect to input signal. Therefore, in positive feedback, the net input signal is get increases whereas in negative feedback, the net input signal is get decreases. Then the second parameter that we are going to consider is the relationship between input and feedback signal or we can say as feedback is nothing but output or a part of output, we can say the second parameter is relationship between input and output. So in this relationship, we are basically going to consider phase relationship. So in case of positive feedback, there is no phase change or we can say the input and output are in phase with respect to each other. Whereas in case of negative feedback, there is a phase change. That means input and output are not in phase with each other. They are out of phase with each other. Now the third parameter is stability. The stability of positive feedback is less as compared to stability of negative feedback. The next parameter is noise. Because of the feedback, even if there is a noise present in the output of the signal, the signal is again given back to the input signal. So depending upon the signal, if the feedback is positive, the signal is get increases. That means if the noise is present at the output, the signal, the noise is also get increased at the input. But in case of negative feedback, as the signal is given back to the input and therefore decreasing it, therefore noise is also get reduced. So noise is more or noise is high in case of positive feedback, whereas it is decreases in case of negative feedback. The next parameter is distortion which may be a phase distortion which may be a frequency distortion or amplitude or harmonic distortions. These type of distortions are 
less in case of negative feedback whereas they are more in case of positive feedback so these are the some parameters on the basis of which we can compare positive and negative feedback we can see only the disadvantage of negative feedback is reduction in gain but because of the number of advantages provided by it the negative feedback is used in most of the electronic circuit so this is what about the feedback and types of feedback so i hope you understand this topic so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe ikira thank you